excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMB, the 6th Ninja, and the place to be for a Paper Saber Universe, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. We're talking about NXT. November 14th, 2023, Vic Joseph, Booker T on commentary. We're going to start... Sorry. Just excited. <laughs> With the NXT Tag Team Championships on the line, Chase U going through some controversy, you know, after last week. And uh, Chase, Chase U crowd members leaving the match, you know. What has uh, Mr. Chase done? So they face the family. The family gets back their tag team championships. And I was like, oh, hot potato, hot potato. Who's going to get the NXT championships? The family. So what's going to happen next? Is Chase U falling apart? You know, and it was funny. It was like, I was never the, like, I've, I've said this time and time again. That I, when I first started this NXT journey of this new interpretation, you know, because I stopped after really the black and gold era. And then when they went to the colors and whatnot, I, I, Chase you with something, I was like, ah, this is stupid. But I think after a while, it just grows on you. You know what I mean? You you see it every week and this and that. Now I'm, like, interested. I'm like, what's the controversy? Why is the, the press, you know, getting in his face? What's going on? And the family has got their tag team championships back. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Ooh. Lita makes her picks for the week for the... um. Iron Survivor qualifier matches. She picks Roxanne Perez versus Last Legend and uh, Trick Williams versus Joe Coffey. Uh, so l- those are Lita's picks. And uh, next week, we're going to have JBL on the show to make his picks for this Iron Survivor uh, qualifying matches. Baron's backstage and he see- meets up with Dom and he's like, hey, champ. He's like, hey, you know, you're about to get to be a champ of your own, huh? He's like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Nothing but love and appreciation between these two baddies in WWE. Next up, we had the Supernova Sessions with the Alpha Academy. Fun stuff. Um, <laughs> Otis <laughs> is uh, shaking and my spirit animal indeed. And, you know, uh, Maxine, uh, Tozawa. I-, I really like that Tozawa is part of Alpha Academy. I really do like that. I think I think them growing a little bit more and them probably adding the Creed Brothers and Ivy would be would be super rad because uh, there'll be a bigger faction inside WWE. But Chad got what he wanted out of this. You know, he, everyone thought, oh, Otis is going to challenge Noam Dar. You know, and metaphors in the ring and everything like that. But no, Chad is, will challenge Noam Dar next week for the Heritage Cup. That I'm excited for because I'm a, I'm a Chad fan. I'm a Chad, Chad, Chad Gable, uh, the Matt Master, the Matt Matician, the Matt Magician. Chad Gable is going to take on Noam Dar next week, and that's going to be fun. Uh, uh, Iron Survivor Qualifier match, Roxanne Perez versus Lash Legend. And Lash Legend got the win because Keanu James helped. Damn. Poor Roxanne Perez. She will seek her revenge on Keanu James. She will. Uh, backstage, a bunch of tag teams, you know, and back there, the family's like, yeah, we got our championships, you know, just basically setting the, like, there's, there's more stories to be told, especially with Hank Tank, you know, and you got, uh, you, you got Angel there, you know, you got you, all, all these uh, factors going on into this tag team, like basically I call it the backstage tag team segment, uh, and, and them getting each other's face. Lyra's watching, uh, Zia Lee footage. You know, because Lyra has a big match next week. She gets invited to a tea ceremony, which is kind of silly. But the, Zia Lee did a tea ceremony, and he's talking about the leaves of the tea. I don't know. I, I was just like, okay. I wonder if Zaya's going to win. <laughs> We've had a change of hands, but I don't think WWE's done with uh, Lyra just yet. I, I think these two will battle it out. And Z- I think Becky Lynch will cause Zaya Lee to lose the championship. I mean, lose her opportunity next week. Because uh, her and um, Becky has had some storylines going on on Zaya. Uh, the tea ceremony was a little bit silly. Mello and Trick backstage. And Mello said something interesting when he's like, yeah, the lie detector test showed I wasn't lying and blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, what lie detector test? I didn't attack Trick. So Trick's like, oh, we're trying to, we're trying to stir some fire here. We're trying to cause something. Kiana's backstage, you know, causing some trauma. Like, look, look what I did to Roxanne. Roxanne deserves that. Gigi and... Um, Ariana Grace gets in each other's face. Braun Breaker's backstage. We got a backstage interview. Then Dijak 
gets in his face, you know, because they're both in the Iron Survivor qualifying matches. Or, or we, as of now, don't. Well, yeah, we know. <laughs> um, but Dijak and Braun, and Braun's like, I'll go through you, buddy. I'll go through you. Iron Survivor qualifier match, Trick Williams versus Joe Coffey. Whoop that trick, you know. Mello, Mello's out there, along with Gallus on the side. Uh, Trick Williams for the win. He will move on to the Iron Survivor match. Trick Williams uh, going to whoop that trick and whoop that trick indeed. Wesley's backstage with Dragunov, and Dragunov, they're talking for a bit. And, you know, Wesley has his sights set on other things, and I think that means Dom. He's got a big man event tonight with Baron Corbin. So uh, Ilya just is like, just leave a piece for me. He's like, I don't know if I can make that. Make that call. Corbin's backstage getting ready for his match. Lexus King interrupts and interrupts indeed. Lexus King. Uh, I don't know what his game is, but he's playing a game. You know, making a name for himself, you know. So, and uh, I I think Baron Corbin is uh, having some of the best storytelling in his career. Building up to Ilya Dragunov and him. So, the Brawling Brutes versus Out the Mud. Stupid name. I hate the name. Out, OTM, Out the Mud. I, it's just awful. It really is awful. Like, this, the, I, call, I call them the Grand Theft Auto Gang, like I called them before. They, it's just, ugh. Yeah, Brawling Brutes for the win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe Gacy, on top of the building, sending a message. You know, he's, he's deranged. He's crazy. He's... Seeking some sort of redemption from what I got from his promo. Then he throws his phone off. And I'm like, oh, break the phone, Joe. Break the phone. Gigi Dolan versus Ariana Grace. Gigi Dolan for the win. Nothing crazy here. Um, I, I think Gigi deserves a little bit more. You know, uh, you know, maybe more, maybe a shot at that NXT Women's Championship. We'll see. I, I, I want more for Gigi, just to be really honest. Uh, Stone and Wagner package. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Eddie Thorpe backstage. He's back. Um, gets interrupted by Drew and Charlie. You know, Iron Survivors here. You know, challengers, qualifiers, matches that are ahead of us maybe in the next couple of weeks because December 4th, is it December 4th, I believe? Yeah, is a deadline. So it's coming up pretty fast. Man, this year is almost over, folks. That's crazy. And they're already talking about WrestleMania weekend. I'm just like, damn. Uh, Chase is trying to leave. Uh, jumps in the car with uh, JC, and they take off, and it's like, wow. I'm just scratching my head. I'm like, what is it? What caused him so much controversy? (laughs) What causes uh, Chase U to fall apart? Slowly, but surely. Baron Corbin versus Wes Lee. Fun match. I really want to say I had a match. Well, the tag tag team match of the start of the show was okay. I I had fun with that. Um, Baron Corbin beats Wes Lee. Then uh, starts beating Wesley. Then here comes Ilya Dragunov, and Ilya, and Ilya gets laid out by Baron. But Ilya Dragunov picks up that mic, and it's just like, Baron, you got what you want. Me and you at deadline for the NXT Championship, so we had the main event set. And I was like, damn. It's like one, two, three, like four, four weeks away. Damn. We, we almost there, folks. We almost there. Deadline's coming up. Uh, I think it's December 4th. I might I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I might have my dates mixed up with some other shows and stuff like that. But at deadline, we have Baron Corbin versus Ilya Dragunov. What is your thoughts? I'm, I'm interested. I don't think Ilya Dragunov is going to lose that championship anytime soon. <laughs> I don't think so. Like, Ilya Dragunov is a beast. And, you know, Baron Corbin's development has been up and down ever since he's been down at NXT. You know, we got... Brawling Brutes down there now, and, you know, we move uh, the Creed brothers up, you know, and we got, you know, we're, 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 they're trying so hard with NXT, and I love it. Like, we're actually giving a shit about this show, and it makes it must-see TV of what's going to happen. I really thought tonight we were going to get some more going forward with Trick and Mello, you know, like the whole, can I trust him, can you, I can trust you, right, you know, type type of storytelling there, but we'll see as this keeps going. Um, overall, I give the show a solid three out of five, like nothing really crazy. Um, the family got their tag team championships back. You know, we got our, uh, main event for deadline. Uh, Trick Williams moves on lash legend beat Roxanne Perez. That's crazy to me. Um, but that sets up a story with Kiana James and everything like that. Uh, and Gigi deserves more. That's, that's what I got from the show. Um, but that's it. Uh, that's it. Y'all, um, 
Hit that like, hit that subscribe, share with your grandma, share with your grandma, share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB, the sexy ninja. Go to prowrestlingtees.com slash New World Podcast. Get yourself the sweet NWP logo. And remember that the New World Podcast is for life, brother. Obviously, obviously, I'm devastated that we lost the NXT tag team titles. But at this moment, I have no further comment.